Greetings, this is Daniel from Placemaker, and I'm excited to announce the release of Placemaker version 3. I'm going to go over the new features, our new credit system, and all the different things that are new with this new release of Placemaker. Worth the quick mention, there's a video for all the new features and credit systems to further elaborate on each one that's mentioned in this Placemaker What's New Overall. One big new change with Placemaker version 3 is we now offer two different ways to access the data. So we're keeping our subscription that we've had for the past several years. It comes with a thousand credits and then you can access all the data using that credits. We also have a pay-as-you-go system so you download Placemaker for free, you purchase credits, and then you can access the data, the buildings, the aerials the same way. The biggest difference between the two is the subscription model. Some of the data is free and all the other data is discounted versus the pay-as-you-go model. You're paying, you're using credits for all the data and there's more data costs. But check out the video about the pay-as-you-go versus subscription credit system. One new feature I'm obsessed with and excited about is our new terrain import. We allow for a really high quality of terrain. You can see here what SketchUp would normally import in versus what kind of granularity and level of detail you can actually import in now with Placemaker. Another example, on the left you'll see this import of the Colorado National Monument that was done with Placemaker and placed with a high-res aerial. This is a large area import which we now allow for. It's Mount McKinley. You can see there's the native aerial, but that's the level of detail you can see in the terrain when we import this all in. And it's, there's a whole separate video about all this. It's not too difficult to import in the detail. You can see the chart here about the level of detail you can get based off your location, but one meter up in, in many locations for the United States and, and the UK, which is just amazing. We still have our high resolution aerial import with Mapbox, which produces these super high quality aerials that are global coverage so around the world, and NearMap, which gives you high resolution, super, super high resolution, up to three and a half centimeters for North America, so the United States and Canada. The other thing that we've added with this are two features to the aerial imports. One is you can now do a large area import up to 10 kilometers by 10 kilometers, and you can also, if you're doing smaller areas, Placemaker will leave a grid or a marker based off how you import in these aerials using the geolocate tool in Placemaker. So it remembers the area that you brought in. So when you go back in to bring in another tile, there's a shaded area in green that shows you what you've already brought in. Very, very useful for stitching together in all these different aerials. And of course, we still have our OpenStreetMap and Microsoft 3D Building Imports OpenStreetMap allowing you to import in the paths, the roads, trees, and water. We've improved roads and we've added rails and subways in this version of Placemaker 3. So you should check those out as part of the OpenStreetMap option to import in rails and check out the improved roads as well. At Placemaker, we are thinking about the future and we have formed a relationship with a company called Ecopia to bring you the Ecopia Smart Site. This is a company that's using computer vision learning AI, taking high resolution aerials and using their powerful algorithms and identifying and creating line work for all the different features you see on an aerial. So exacting parking areas, building footprints, everything down to the curb. And this is giving you a much more accurate version than what you might get just from the OpenStreetMap data. This is actually a survey level, survey quality kind of site plan. And we can take all that information and then we can import that in for you into SketchUp. And you can see with the SketchUp example here with all the surfaces on it and everything is layered as well. And then if you Combine that with the OpenStreetMap or the Microsoft buildings, you get this complete, super accurate area that's brought to you by Ecopia uh, through Placemaker. There are some nuances 
to this particular data set, so please contact us for more information through the website and we can explain about that. But this is something that we're looking at long term and in the future to, to really assist in getting accurate base and site information. This information is also available as CAD drawings or DWGs, not just as SketchUp files. So just let us know what you need. Last but not least, we have our 3D near map mesh. Near map uh, is one of our data providers for high resolution aerials. They also have these scanned 3D data sets that are similar in nature to what you see in Google Earth 3D. So they're 3D extruded with uh, textures for locations that uh, around the United States and you can ask us about other locations as well, but primarily for the US. And you can see the nature of the data and what it's offering and you can import that into SketchUp and it is a mesh so you can actually work with it and add your project in detail. These are great for bird's eye context views for projects and having them as backgrounds. I'm at the suplacemaker.com website where you can find all the information that I'm covering in this video about the new features data and credit system. And a quick plug, Placemaker is for SketchUp, but coming this year, we do have a Revit version of Placemaker coming out. And there's a link on the homepage. If you'd like more information, you can go to the link on the homepage and go to the Placemaker for Revit page, and you can click sign up now to keep informed. And that's the update for Placemaker version three. Check out our website and all the other videos. And we're sure excited for this new release, and we hope you all check it out.